Well, I hope everyone would like to use Leo. Uh, we, so when, when we designed Leo, we envisioned um, uh, that Leo can solve problems that are, that are difficult for uh, people. For example, inspection of high voltage lines or painting of tall bridges. Uh, because Leo using the ground contact is more robust than a drone and it can leverage this ground contact to be able to, to make these activities much safer and with more efficiency. So the, most of the current robots are using just one mode of locomotion. Could that be uh, wheels, uh, legs, or flying? But Leonardo is unique because it combines two modes of locomotion in, an, in a very elegant way to achieve locomotions that are not possible with that were not possible before with previous robots. Like for example, Leonardo can walk on a slack line, it can skateboard, it can fly and walk around obstacles, which are very unique uh, for this platform. Skateboarding is a hard task. We as humans try for weeks to be able to skateboard without falling. So we wanted to take this challenge that, that uh, humans are, are struggling to ride a skateboard to see if Leo can achieve skateboarding. And we were actually able, using the same controller that is running for walking, we were able to make Leo uh, uh, run the skateboard. Um, so it, uh, basically the robot uses the extensions of its legs to be able to steer uh, the skateboard right and left and then the propellers by tilting the body, uh, then the skateboard is able to accelerate back and forth. I think we're going to see um, robots like Leonardo with these extraordinary locomotion capabilities be used in things like space exploration because they can overcome very uh, difficult terrain, uh, they can reach hard to reach places. Um, but then I think also um, robots will, will be more and more in our daily lives. Uh, as these robots become more and more robust, more and more reliable, um, we're going to see them for things like package delivery or, or helping uh, in the house with, with daily chores.